Well, how do the charms does I, Captain of the Steves? Now, I'm up on my freight to bridge, and I'm just creating a manual save point right here. And I'm just going to go and get my Razor Crest ship. <laughs> I mean, it's not called that. I mean, I have called mine the Iron Vulture. There he is, right there. So let's get this shipty ship, and let's fly on out, and let's fly on over into the station. Let's go and scrap this beast, shall we? Okay, so last episode, I made a video on how you can duplicate ship parts. Now, a lot of people are saying, I can only get one ship part, though, because I ended the expedition wrong, or I started the expedition from the main title screen, so I can't refabricate any more ships. Well, I ended mine wrong. I ended on with my shuttle, so I can't refabricate more of these. Now, I've just created that manual save point, and I've also now got a auto reload okay so if anything does go wrong i can reload my save point now i did find a video by hero for you or hero do you i've put a video on my actual community tab about this method that they have found so full credits to hero to you if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link up there go and watch hero's video and while you're there hit the subscribe he's a lovely guy from egypt right if you hit up this it's got an awesome accent by the way now, if I go to begin salvage analysis, okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to extract the customized module. Now, as soon as the dialogue ends, I want to be going down on the D-pad, going across and hitting up my very first ship to put it back on the landing pad before this actually gets taken out of my quick bar. And hopefully I'll be able to get it back again. Now, this is the first time I've ever done this, so it might not work first time. It might take a few tries, but we'll give it a go. I okay, guess so here we go. I want to salvage the cockpit, please. OK, here we go. And then I want to go in there quickly as I can over to there into here and select my first ship. Did I do that quick enough? If I have, OK, go up onto here, I should be able to find the ship that I should have just scrapped. It doesn't look like I was quick enough, people, because it's gone. Okay, so we're going to try that again. So here we go. Let's do a, a reload of the autosave. Hopefully that's the one that I just did. Well, okay, watching. have I still got my lovely ship? I do. Let's go try that again, people at home, shall we? Okay, so it's not easy, right? But if you if you're quick on the old keys or the freaking joypad hopefully you can do it right so let's let's try that again so we go boom begin salvage analysis i'm just going to select the very first ship that it comes up with extract customization module i'm going to go for cockpit again boom and then enter here into there into there just select anything okay i think i was i think i was quick enough this time people so now if I go back into my quick menu and into here, hopefully I've still got the ship in question. Um, I don't know whether that has done it, actually. No. Well, I was super bloody quick. Like, oh, this I have. Look, there it is. It's still there. It's still there. Lovely jubbly. So hopefully I've now got seven of these like cockpits now. Righto. So I've now got the ship again. So let's do that again. You can just keep doing this over and over again. I mean, what I would suggest you do, if you've managed to do it successfully once, is jump in and out of your ship, create another auto save, you know, and then do it again. So let's head on over then. Let's jump on in. My Razor Vulture, jump on out. That's created a new auto save. Now let's go back to that kiosk and let's do it again. And this time we'll get ourselves the wings. So if I just show you the bits I've got, I've got five wings at the moment and I've got five tails. I've now got seven heads, which is pretty cool. Let's let's see if we can get seven on everything, shall we, people? So let's head on over then and let's try that again. OK, and the more confident you get with it, you might not have to run backwards and forwards and do the saves, you know? So begin salvage analysis. This time we're going to do the wings. So extract module. And we're going to salvage the wings this time. And it's after this message, you want to press down, go into here, into there, select the first ship. Okay, and then if you go back in again, go back into here, you should be able to find the ship that you just scrapped. There it is. It's still out there. I've still got it. And I've now got six wings. 
Okay, so that's something over. I'm getting a bit more confident with, with my button pressing. And go to begin salvage analysis. There you go over here. Extract customization. And I'm going to salvage the wings yet again. Then I'm going to have seven of them. I guess. There we go. Press down over here into that. Select the ship. Okay. Go back in. And I should have. There it is. It's still there. My razor crest is still going strong. I call it the razor vulture, but there we are. Okay, let's do the tail now. I think you get the idea though, people. So you can actually get infinite parts right here. So the whole stuff about duplicating, yes, you can do it, and then you're going to duplicate whole stacks. But this is a great way of just getting the odd part on the fly, because you can do it to any starship you want, really. Pretty amazing stuff. Okay, right, so we go, let's go into here. And this time I want to claim the tail. There we go. Let's clear it. Salvage the engines. Chicka boom. Okay. Pow, 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 pow. Okay. I don't know what ship that selected because it didn't have an icon. Let's just hope that it's the... Uh, I've still got this guy. Yes, I have. And it doesn't salvage the ship you've selected either. It just moves the ship that is going to get salvaged from being salvaged. I'm just going to do that one more time and get the tail. Let's, uh, let's do it one more time. Boom, 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 boom. Extract... And we want the engines one more time. Oh no! Ah! I fudged up! Ah! Did I do it in time? Or have I lost it? It's still there! Ha <laughs> ha! So even with a little bit of fudgery going on, look, I've got seven of them, seven of them. And I have got seven of the wings as well, wherever the wings have gone. Uh, where are the wings? Oh, there they are, seven wings as well. I'm not going to lie though, people. My um, my friggin' heart was in my mouth the whole time doing that because I'm not confident at it. I haven't done it too many times. I am following Hero for Years instructions. So yeah, if you haven't checked out Hero, you need to go check out his site. Let him know that you got sent over there by the old Captain of the Steves. But I think he deserves quite a lot of thumbs up for this one. And if he has helped you, like he's helped me, hit that subscribe button, people. Heck yes, you know you want to. Until next time, people, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. What am I going to be doing next? Well, this ship, I really like it. So I want to expand all the storage slots, get a load of S-Class modules, and see what this thing is capable of. And I'm going to be testing whether it hovers in place. Oh, something to note, people, is we've done some testing with Ricey the other day, and the actual ship part that gives you the hoverability is the wings. So you might want to make lots of these wings because then you can put them on all different haulers that you would like to have that hoverability. Okay, just as a heads up, it's the wings that gives you the hoverability. Anyway, salute to Mundo. Oh, if you want to see that video of Rice's where he was doing the testing, it's quite a long one, but it's in there somewhere. Go hit it up. I'll put a link over there to Rice's video. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Hero thank you for supporting my channel and thank you for all your awesome tips and tricks. Just used your ship scrapping hack Scrap the ship and got it back Hero to you You're a hero to me